How do I know I need deliverance in my mind? How do I want to talk to you about the need for deliverance in the area of your mind? The Bible talks about the mind throughout the scriptures. The mind is a powerful, 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 powerful weapon that the enemy uses in the life of believers to kill, steal, and destroy their destiny. Many believers lose the battle way before they ever slept, sleep around, before they ever commit pornography, before they ever do any of those things, they lose the battle in their minds. Your mind is the devil's playground. This is the place. So the devil cannot read your mind, but the devil can plant thoughts. The devil can plant thoughts into your mind. Once you get saved, you get saved. Your spirit is born again. Your, your mind is a part of the soul. The soul of man is wicked. The soul of man, your thoughts, are, uh, this says the thoughts of man are continually wicked. So your thoughts are going to be, even with, even with Jesus, your thoughts are going to be prone to the sinful nature to go, to be evil, to have evil thoughts, to have wicked thoughts with, 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 with demons attached to that, the thought you even have a more of a chance to be an attack. Then don't even get me started on if you experience a lot of trauma, if you experience a lot of abuse in your childhood, if you were abused, if you were uh, talked about, verbally abused and things like that, you're really going to need deliverance. You're really going to need it because that means you are, uh, not only do you need deliverance, if you haven't, what are signs that your mind is under attack from demons? Constant negative thoughts constant intrusive thoughts. You come out of nowhere. Where did that thought come from? I, all of a sudden you start thinking about masturbating. All of a sudden you start seeing images of, uh, of sexual images. All of a sudden you start hearing cussing. All of a sudden you start seeing violence. These are demonic thoughts. These aren't your thoughts. You weren't even thinking that. But all of a sudden that thought came out of nowhere. Well, the Bible says we must be transformed by the renewing of the mind. So the way we start and, 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 and begin to bring our mind under subjection to the will and the obedience of Christ is through deep study of the word of God. As we study God's word, our mind begins to be renewed. Hallelujah. Our mind begins to be changed and our mind begins to align with God's ways of thinking. The reason the church and this and all we are so messed up in our area of our minds in the body of Christ is because we do not have the mind of God because we are going off the world's philosophy, Oprah's philosophy, and not the philosophy and not the word of God. The word of God is the only thing that is eternal. If you build your life on anything else, you're going to uh, be shipwrecked. And so what God commands us to do in his word is God commands us to meditate on his word day and night. It's to meditate on the word of God. And as we meditate, our mind begins to be removed. We also must bring our thought into captivity. So once we hear a bad thought, once we hear that demonic thought, we must rebuke it immediately and bring it under subjection, begin to decree what God says about us. When you hear that thought that says you're never going to be nothing, you I say, I am the righteousness of God and Christ the devil. I know that was your thought. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You have to take, you have to cast down strongholds. See, many of us have strongholds from childhood. We have strongholds from how we were raised. We have strongholds of toxic, perverted thinking that must be torn down by the authority of God's word. And demons live in the strongholds of our mind. And when we cast those strongholds down, God begins to move. So I just give you this little word today right now on that the power of God, uh, uh, the, uh, how you know the demons are attacking your mind. If you have intrusive thoughts, if you have toxic thinking, if you have uh, uh, just evil, perverted thinking, that signs you need deliverance in the area of your mind. You also might need therapy. If you have experienced a lot of abuse and trauma, uh, therapy and deliverance of the mind go together. They're not one or the other. So you might need therapy. But I want you to share, like, click the like button. I want you to share this and I hope this bless you today. God bless you. Here's Prophet John Wells.